end and I think it's so important to talk about mental health and so many people to shove it away or they feel weird or embarrassed about talking about it and it's just so important. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health and also increasing a little bit of awareness about mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, ring the notification bell because I put out a ton of videos. And something I've been doing a lot more lately and something I try to do is pull from pop culture, like whether it's YouTube or TV or movies or news and things like that, and try to see what we can learn to improve our own mental health. Today, Jeffree Star just released a new video revealing more of his dark secrets. And he talks a little bit more about self-harm and we're gonna unpack a lot of things from this video because there's a lot, a lot, that you can learn that can improve your mental health. Now, before I jump into it, just if you get triggered by this kind of thing, you may not wanna watch this video or come back and watch it when you're in a little bit better of a headspace, but I think there's some stuff in this video that is truly inspiring for anybody who struggles with depression or self-harm or anything like that. Some of you have come to my channel because you saw the videos I did about Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson when he opened up first about you know his self-harming behaviors. So today, Jeffree released a new video, which I will link down down in the description below and I really think everybody should watch it. It's kind of, you know, two different topics. He talks about his self-harm, he also talks about his family. And there's like two or three videos I can make on just his video alone with different topics. So if you want me to do that, make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, but anyways, so for those of you who aren't caught up to speed, when Jeffrey did his documentary with Shane Dawson, he talked about how a lot of his tattoos are covering up his self-harm scars, and he was doing this for a long time. And he said that he hasn't self-harmed in 10 years. So he starts his video off by saying like he was losing sleep and things like that, and he wanted to make a new video. And I was sitting there watching it with my girlfriend, I'm like, I wonder what this is about, like, you know, what else happened or whatever. And basically what he talked about was how four years ago, he self-harmed again. He had a, a relapse where he cut himself and he, he didn't feel right. It wasn't sitting with him how he told Shane to spend 10 years and he had, to, he had to come out and talk about this. And like, I applaud him so, so, so much for doing this. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. I've been clean for six years. And just, there were so many parallels and like it bugs me. And one of the reasons I have this channel, it bugs me that addiction is often over here and then mental illness is over here when they're the same. Like there's so many parallels between what Jeffrey dealt with and what people with addictions deal with, especially when we talk about relapse and we talk about that guilt and shame. So at 12 step meetings, for example, we call it a uh, dirty chips, right? Where somebody goes up and gets like a 60 day coin, but they really relapse. Do you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of guilt and shame. And like, I'm very proud of Jeffrey from coming for coming out and opening up and explaining what happened four years ago. Basically what he talks about is four years ago, he got to this place, you know, where he felt lost and alone and he felt hollow inside. And this is something that we talk about. One of the reasons that people self harm is just to feel something and he was kind of in that headspace his music career was ending he well didn't blow up as this you know beauty guru and you know has a makeup line and all that stuff and what what happened was he turned back to self-harm and he mentioned he wanted to see if it felt the same right and basically it was a, a one-time deal from what it sounds like it was a one-time deal and he says you know this september it'll be four years and like yes like this happens so often and like this is where mindfulness really comes in. Like, if you have any toxic behavior, okay, it's important to sit back and recognize, like, is this still giving me that feeling or that release or that escape that I was looking for? Because what happens, especially with addictive behaviors like self-harm, like substance abuse, is that we, we keep doing it over and over, trying to get that original feeling and we stay stuck in it. But Jeffrey f saw, like, very quickly, like, no, this isn't giving me what I was looking for, and he was able to pull himself out of it really quick. And I applaud him for that, because those of you who don't know my story, I've been clean for six years, but I had multiple relapses. My last relapse started off with one pill, just one Vicodin pill kicked off my relapse, and I was stuck in it for a year and a half. And one of the reasons I make these videos and I share my personal experience is because the hell I went through, I don't want anybody 
anybody to go through what I went through. So like when I hear somebody like Jeffrey who had this like one time thing or it was a, even if it was only a week or a couple months or whatever it was, I'm like, thank God it didn't take you where my last relapse did. And something I really wanna talk about is how in this clip I'm about to show you, Jeffrey talks about this front that we put up. Here, watch. If you know that someone maybe does, just check on someone and see how they're doing because most people never checked up on me. And, and I don't mean that in a negative way towards anyone, but when I was really young, a lot of people just thought I was fine because I put up the front that I was fine. So sometimes the people that are hurting the worst inside are smiling on the outside. And, and like, this is so real. I, I work in a mental health facility and when people first come into treatment, one of the first things I tell them about coming into treatment, right? I'm like, closed mouths don't get fed because I have personal experience with that. And depression especially can have this downward spiral. For example, and you might be able to relate to this. So you're depressed, right? You, you get into this depression, you get all the negative thoughts and it's like, I'm alone, nobody cares about me. Why don't people ask me why, uh, what's going on? What's, what's the matter? How are you doing? Nobody would ask me these things. And my brain tells me that nobody cares about me. But the thing is on the outside, I was wearing this plastic smile all the time. I was making it seem like everything was okay. I have the car, I have the kid, I have the girlfriend, I have the house, I have the job, I have the money, I have all these things. Everything's beautiful, but then in my brain it's like, how come nobody ever asked me how I'm doing? And sometimes you have to reach out and you have to ask for help. That's why it's so important for us to get vulnerable. And it doesn't have to be with everybody, you don't need a YouTube channel or anything like that, you don't have to do that, but you have to have at least one person you can confide in and say, yo, I'm not doing well right now. You know what I mean? Because this is the thing, like, I hope with my videos I can empower you to take some responsibility for your own mental health. Like, we, we often stay in our mental illness and we stay in the problem, not focusing on the solution, because we get into this self-pity and we don't take proactive steps towards moving forward. And a lot of times the first thing you have to do is just reach out and ask for help. So like, as I was watching this video, like I was telling my girlfriend, I'm like, this is really inspirational, right? Because Jeffrey talks about how he kind of pulled himself out of it. And I'm like, okay, but you know, I, I mentioned it in the last video, like one, one of my critiques was like, they didn't like mention like ways to get help. Like they didn't talk about getting help. Like there are many people who can like, pull themselves out of it. And if you can't just pull yourself out of it, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean any of that kind of stuff. It's just different people have different types of mental fortitude. You know, there's a lot of times now where I can pull myself out of it, but sometimes I gotta turn to people for help. But anyways, Jeffrey did a great job where he talked about how so many people in his audience, whether it was on Twitter or in the comments of Shane's videos and things like that, they reached out and they shared their stories and it inspired them to get help. And Jeffrey in this video, he says, if you are struggling, ask for help, talk to your friends, talk to your family members, talk to your doctor, talk to a therapist, things like that. Like some of you like don't know this, but in the description down below, like BetterHelp helps support this channel. BetterHelp is an online therapy service. It's very affordable. They have a sliding scale. So based off how much income you make, you can get affordable therapy. Something people have been talking to me about lately is like, hey, I get anxious just going to a therapist, right? Like for me personally, everything online is a lot easier for my anxiety, even if it's like texting and the BetterHelp therapist texts and stuff, but like, even if it's not better help, like talk to somebody, reach out and get some help. Like I'm on Twitter, Twitter has been great lately. A lot of you have been messaging me on there or tweeting at me and stuff. That's a great way to get a hold of me. It's at the rewired soul, the same as my Instagram. Um, but yeah, feel free to, you know, reach out to me, hit me up. Like this is a community, get involved in the comments below. Like I did a live stream the other day and like just the support there, like I love all of you so much. Like just this community is truly beautiful for me because I just see everybody helping each other to get ourselves out of these mental health funks. I love it so much. But anyways, like I'm, I'm really proud of Jeffrey for making this video. I know his fans are, I, I know it's inspired a lot of people to get help. And like one thing that Jeffrey talks about, like it's, it's okay, like it's okay. We have these relapses, we have our slips. It doesn't mean that you're a failure, but like I, I hope the one thing that you take away from his video or my videos is like never give up, never give up hope. 
okay? Every day, every moment is a chance to begin again. If you wake up in the morning and you are alive, you have the chance to start over and begin again. So whether it's a self-harm relapse, whether it's a, uh, a substance relapse, whether it's a depression relapse or anxiety, whatever it is, you have the chance to start again, all right? But anyways, that's what I wanted to say about this. Um, if any of you have checked out his video yet, again, it will be in the description if you haven't watched it, but I wanna see in the comments below, like, what are, what are your takeaways from Jeffree Star's video? And also, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do some more videos about Jeffree Star. Um, one of them I wanna talk about is the power of sharing your story and why you need to share your story. The other one is the dynamic he talks about with his mother. I can relate to that since I cut my mom out of my life for a while. So if you want me to do some videos on those topics, let me know down in the comments, because I'm here for you. I'm here for all you beautiful people, all right? But that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. So click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You help me spread a message of hope to anybody struggling with mental illness. So I love all of you, all right? So anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.